Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and today I want to give you a lesson on what is an integer. Well, look at the number line here. An integer is all of the whole numbers, and these are often called the counting numbers. One, two, three, four, and it includes zero. So it includes all of the whole numbers and their opposites. So the whole number one plus its opposite negative one the whole number 2 and its opposite negative 2. All of these are called integers. There are no fractions or decimals in an integer. For instance, if I had 1 and 1 half, it would be here on the number line. It's not an integer. It's between the whole numbers 1 and 2. So it's in between them. If I had negative 4.5, this is where it would be on the number line. It's not an integer. It's between the integers negative 4 and negative 5. So it's between them, and it is not an integer. The further I go to the right on the number line, the larger my number is. And the further I go to the left on the number line, the smaller my number is. If I have negative 6 is less than 1, that's true because negative 6 is further to the left. I would write that using this, sim this symbol. Negative 6 is less than 1. Here's another one. 2 is greater than negative 4. And that's true. 2 is farther to the right, which makes it larger than negative 4. And I would write this as 2 is greater than negative 4. Well, how do you use integers in the real world? Well, you can use integers when you listen to the weather report and it says in Alaska it's going to be negative 2 degrees or in Hawaii it's going to be 70 degrees. That would be a positive number. That's a way of using integers in the real world. Also, when you're talking about money, whether you pay for something, or whether you earn money. That would be also using positive and negative numbers. Keywords can help you to decide if the integer is positive or negative. When we're talking about a negative number, the number is getting smaller and you might see these keywords. Decrease, fall, down, lose, Withdrawal. This is when you take money out of your checking account or savings account. To subtract and less. These are all, all um, keywords that let you know that the number is getting smaller, that it can be a negative number. When we're talking about a positive number, the number is getting larger and you might see these keywords. Increase. If your score increases, it gets larger. To rise. If the stock market rises, it goes up. Up. Win. If you win the lottery, it's something you get. It's a positive number. A deposit is when you put money into your checking or savings account. To add, you get more. The price of gas went up $2. Well, there's your up. The price of gas rose. It would rise. So it's a positive number. Jose lost 8 pounds on his diet. And I found them. Uh, if you lose 8 pounds, it goes down. So that would be a negative number. My mother made a $7 withdrawal from her checking account. She withdrew the money, withdrawal. She took it out. She subtracted it. And the last one, this, the car increased its speed by 6 miles per hour. So the car started to go faster. So it would be a positive number. A great place to practice this skill is on IXL. You can find it in 6th grade, M.1, Understanding Integers. 
If you're at my school, you have an account on iXL. But if you're not at my school, you might consider going ahead and buying a membership so that it can help you practice your math skills. You did a great job.